Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We are going to be doing the pros and cons, sorry, oh. of having pets slash cats. So this is obviously continuing our, continuing our series. So yeah, and the cat's currently in between us. If you can see him, hi cat. He doesn't want to be on camera. No, he's bored. He's trying to sleep. But we're obviously disturbing him. So. Yolo. You have a habit of being out of this. Oh, there we go. There right. We go. So, some of the pros are they keep you company. Yeah. Which is true, because you're not always here, so they keep me in company. Always annoying me, mind. Um, they um, can be some form of stress relief. They're my stress relief. Um, <laughs> you receive a lot of love from them, and you give a lot of love to them. And um, in my case, I saved them, so to speak, because I adopted them. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, it's nice to think that the owner before couldn't have them, so they were put into catch protection, and we got them now. Yep. That's where they're going to stay. Yes. You're not getting let out. No, don't worry. You're fine. The cons, yeah? Mm hmm Of... Having pets. Slash cats. This is mainly around cats, isn't it? Yes. Okay. It's it's a big responsibility. So don't go to cat protection and be like, I want a cat. And then a week or so later, you're like, I can't handle this. No. Because he's ripping it's really, up your and It's really unfair on the cats. If you send them back. Isn't it? You've got to put them for a sort of... You have to, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cost. Food and vet bill. Vet bills. Yeah. Food costs. If the more cats you have, the more it's going to cost, basically. I have two. But it doesn't really cost me, because obviously I buy them, like, one big bag of food. Oh, if you want to go to farm foods, if you, like... Where do they not do farm foods? <laughs> America. Okay, if you do not live in the UK, there we go. They are. <laughs> That's a, do they um, even have in like Scotland and stuff? I don't know. If you're from Scotland, please comment below. You're probably not, but I've just never seen one. Like I've never seen one out of Wales. No. Well, I have a day. <laughs> but <laughs> they've got one in Wales. Oh yeah. That's not the problem. No, because I was going to oh, say nice. Sorry. they do three. Yeah. Um, things of food so what I got is wet food and two 3.8 kilograms of dry food and that cost me 22 pound that's the last in them isn't it yeah and this only on their first bag and it's been for well, almost a month is it no it's been like 11 days we are alternate between wet and dry yeah they are almost out of wet though but there's only 40 sachets litter costs as well yeah so we go to Vietnam together. Yeah, they um have wood. We had to kind of get a small one for them. Because... They were running out. Mm -hmm. But there is a bigger one. Yeah, we get like heavy, a massive 30 litre bag. And someone make me carry it all the way to yours. Next. Changing litter trays. I'll leave that to you. He never ever changes the litter tray anytime nope. he's like eh, they've pooed i can't go in there i'm gonna be sick well yes yeah, disgusting i don't want to look i don't want to pick that up well, i'm sorry but you pooed don't you it's perfectly normal for you to yeah, poo it goes to the toilet it goes in the toilet then yeah that's true actually and i don't have to fucking pick it up with my hands or anything you go straight into the bin yes yeah, i mean pick it up with your hands never mind okay. 
them having he's taking a long time to process this them having toilet accidents which is annoying basically That's pissing and shitting and being sick all over the house especially like, you uh... isn't it? <laughs> No, he doesn't know what's going on. He um, pees to protest against me. If something's not right, he's the type of cat to ruin your house. Yes. To get his point across. So if he's hungry, he'll pee. If I haven't fed them, like, well, No, he's not He's not that bad. As, does he pee? He peed he's... when I freaking didn't put water down for him. Unintentionally, like, I didn't so realise they didn't have water down. So he's in on it. Yeah. Okay. My other cat's perfectly nice. Nice and nice. Happy. Happy. Yeah. They sleep most of the time, so. Mm -hmm. They're most active in the night. Really. Yeah, I've noticed that. Well, I read that and I was like, that's actually 100% true. I've noticed that. When I'm they sleeping start getting and then like, I have a cat standing on my head. They start getting like hyper or something around 4 or 5. In the morning. Shit. And they're just running around being naughty, trying to climb on things they're not supposed to climb on, like my wardrobe. <laughs> I remember once the cat actually hung himself from the wardrobe and I didn't even realise that until I looked at him and I was looking at him like... He was hanging off the wardrobe. <laughs> yeah, like Is that, that. What you meant? Is that what you meant? Yeah, he was like that, like, <laughs> like this He did that on the banister. I had to pick him up off here. Anyway, we'll we love on. our cats. We'll go we, all day, but... we, we don't um, injure them, I swear. They are just naughty. They so, injure themselves. Yeah, they injure anything. themselves. But that does actually conclude our video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.